Okay. Um, a while back, I made a video where I was in this room and I was walking this way, you know. Another dude came around and froze me. And it was a effect that I saw this other guy. He, uh, he had made the effect first. But he normally makes tutorials for his videos, but he didn't do one for this one. So I actually figured it out by myself without a tutorial. And now that I've done it, I'm thinking, okay, if no one else has made a tutorial on this, I will. So if you want to figure out how to do that, watch this. Um, okay. You want to start off by, uh, so first, first things first is the, uh, the guy that's going to get frozen, whichever way he's coming, make sure the guy that does not get frozen you know, make sure he is, and like say, I'm right here, the guy has to be over there. If he gets in front of me over here, it ain't going to work. So, let me just go to an example. Uh, first of all, you've got to get your dude to do his little scene where he's about to be, get uh, frozen. So whatever you're going to do is, you want to walk to where you're going and then kind of just like stop for a second. And then immediately after you stop, like, just, uh, if you want to do it like I did, where as soon as you unfreeze it, you fall over, you're going to have to do that immediately. You'll, you'll see why later on. But, um, okay, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, uh, that was dumb, but, okay, now, the other guy has to come in, and he, this guy is going to walk in right after the guy I got froze, so I'm going to go out here, Okay, that's done. Now, uh, now we're gonna edit it, and I guess I'll see you in editing. Bye. Okay, um, here we go. We have the uh, two clips. The one where I'm going to freeze, and the one where I'm going to walk in and watch the freezing. Okay? So, here's your freeze guy. And what you got to do is you have to find the part where you're about, where you're just about to freeze, which I'd say is right about... here for me okay and uh, so there's this little camera you click here and you're gonna want to export export that and put it in your library I mean put it in the pictures whatever um, and just name it something like time freeze and save that so then what you gotta do is you gotta open up paint and uh, so open your open your picture in paint uh, it should be right here time freeze now uh, that's too big so I'd go to view and zoom out and so what you gotta do is you gotta you gotta make make it so everything except for you has a green back background because you're going to use the green screen effect and to make it easier I would hit select and select most of just you and hit uh, and cut that out cut and then just make it make the frame smaller so paste that back and 
Just trying to make. Hold it. Make this about you know big enough for it to fit in there, and then paste your picture back so you can make it. There you go. So this should be a little bit easier to do. That should make it a little bit easier. And the way I like to start off is I'll take the this thing and select areas like a uh, hold up. Okay, I'll select an area, a big chunk of area, delete that, big chunk of area, delete that here. Here, and you can use your paint bucket to fill it in with green. And the rest of the stuff you're gonna have to use the brush, and make sure you make sure you make it the biggest size, and just start filling it in. To make it easier, you could uh, just zoom back in. And so yeah, just filling everything green, and you're going to have to trace yourself. You're going to have to be really careful about it, so just slowly take it and trace it. You know, just trace your body. Try not to go too fast. If you mess up, just hit undo, and you can and just keep get it until you're done. Uh, this is what it will look like when you're done. That's what it's probably going to look like. I mean, that's what it will look like. Okay, and now go back to Adobe. And that point that you were just at, um, you're going to have to cut that and import your import your green background picture and place it right there so when it says video merge effect say no but go and use chroma key that's what I use Um, now use this little thing and pick the green color and click similarity and just move it over until you until you see no more green left but don't go too far over because if you do you'll start like losing your head or something which doesn't make sense to me I mean my head's not green so but uh yeah just get it until there's no more green and your body is still there so there you go and then you gotta take it and try to line it up with your with your body you may not be big enough so you may have to just kinda scale it up a little bit till it matches yeah So once it's matched up, then you gotta you gotta move this clip back because you see now you've done this and you're frozen. So now get your clip with the other dude who's gonna watch you get frozen and put that under put that put that right beside it. So you got. So that way it'll look like you're still frozen and you're still there. See? And then the dude comes walking in. Make sure you make the picture long enough to where you can see it throughout the whole clip. So, yeah. 
my dude's gonna come in and watch him get frozen. So as he's leaving, put your scene where you're becoming unfrozen back. So when you unfreeze, it'll look like this. Never mind. The computer goes too slow for you to watch preview in here. But yeah. If you go through it slowly, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. You're there, and then all of a sudden, boom. You're on frozen. And for mine, I put sound effects in it. So what you can do is there's this website I go to um, where where you uh, can get free sound effects. It's called um, actually I don't remember, but I know how to get to it. This is the only way I know how to do it. Search that. And it's called freesound.org. Okay. You go there and you can you have to make an account. See, I'm already I already made an account, so it doesn't take too long, so just do that. And then you can hit search. And what I use is this thing called reverse. So search reverse and it's called reverse fill effect so click that and go to this thing right here and download link file as and I'll put it in the video sound and save it save it as whatever I'd save it as reverse sound um, Okay, mine's already saved in there, so I'm not going to do it again. But yeah, so save that and go back on here. Uh, get your media. Uh, get the reverse sound you need. And take it, and probably what you're going to do is if you want it to sound like you're unfreezing, for the unfreezing part, just put it where the sound will end right right when you're unfreezing. So it'll be like this. You probably can't see that good because my computer's done. And really slow. Oh my gosh. Hold up. This computer goes really slow, and it doesn't pause when you tell it to pause. That's why I hate this computer. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Okay. And then put your sound effect right here and make it end right when you're getting frozen. So that's pretty much all you have to do. And then you're frozen. And he walks in. So yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. And you're done. Yay. to see what it looks like when I finish. Hold up one second.